Hey, this is Demon Driver here, and this is my BOAC Concord status report here. Um, this is my 100-inch uh, long scratch-built foamy EDF Concord. This is the prototype. Uh, the Pan Am is coming along as well. There's actually the uh, tail to it. And uh, this is going to be called Speedbird Wendy Mitchell after the late wife of a friend of mine and um, a great British RC builder called Pontius on RC Groups and an amazing builder and this plane is going to be dedicated to his wife and um, this plane is uh, been a labor of love and it's also been a nightmare all at the same time and uh, this has just been an absolute nightmare to get this thing to this point and this plane is nowhere near finished um, this wing the wings that you see before you I only have it mocked up the right wing for now but um, today I just recently primed the upper surface of the wing but this plane has been a nightmare to build um, this is the hardest RC scratch built plane I've ever built in my life these wings have taken two years to complete. Two years. Just today, I um, pulled the right wing from its mold. These are photos of the right and left wing molds for my scratch belt Concord. That is the mold for the tail section of the Concord. That's the mold for the nose section. That's the mold for, droop, for the drooping nose right there. And that is the mold for the visor. This delta wing that you're looking at here is a sculpted delta wing. And man, they weren't kidding. This is sculpted. I had to spend two years sculpting this thing from foam. You have a forward leading edge apex up forward along the fuselage. And it comes down, and then there's washout towards the end, towards the trailing edge of the wing. The wing comes out and curves down. All right, and then as the outer forward leading edge here, right in here, it just kind of comes down a little bit. And then it, the trailing edge, it's all one, it's not a continuous move. If I can try and show you what I'm talking about, look at that. You see what has to happen? I mean, it's not, you see that? There's a lot of things that you have to do in order to get that to do that. So I had to do all that by hand, and the, the second nightmare was I had, to, I had to duplicate that on the left side by hand. I just want to be serious with you. Um, the, this right wing that you see before you that's been primed, that's just primer coat, white primer coat. Um, I still have to cut the... Um, elevators and elevons out of the uh, trailing edge of the wing. I have to cut in the um, upper portion of the engine nacelle, of the upper rear part of the engine nacelle, add that in, put in the engine nacelles, um, run the carbon fiber uh, wing spars across each wing to connect them, do the center fuselage section, put in the retracts, put in all the wiring, wire up the, uh, the droop nose with the visor, put all the crap in there, put the nose gear in there, uh, EDFs into the nacelles. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. I mean, this plane has been nothing but a nightmare, but it's, it's worth it. It really is worth it. Um, what you're looking at, of course, is the um, late 60s BOAC paint scheme. Had British Airways never been created by the British government, um, this is what you would have seen. This is what you would see today. The BOAC, I mean, all British Airways aircraft would look like this. They wouldn't be British Airways. They would be BOAC, British Over Overseas Aircraft Corporation, and they would look like this. And uh, if this were the Demon Driver world, there would be no British Airways. I don't like British Airways. I think they completely screwed up and should have never created British Airways and just kept it BOAC, but that's me. But um, yeah, this is this is the vintage BOAC paint scheme, and um, yeah, I'm very fond of it. 
So the next step is to really start putting all the molded pieces together and get the electronics into her and then mold the wings for the uh, Pan Am version which is uh, the Pan American Concorde that's coming up next and uh, yeah so I have fiberglass parts now for the tail the nose all the, the visor the drooping nose and uh, for the wings so yeah so these parts are available this plane is 100 inches long it'll take two 70 millimeter or it's four 50 millimeter EDFs. We're coming along and uh, again I just appreciate all your patience with my builds and everything and uh, again any questions you may have about any of my builds please answer please ask them and I will answer them as quickly as I can and again I am grateful for all the subscribers and your views and your time I'm very grateful and uh, this is Demon Driver signing out and this is the last status report on my scratch belt concord before she maidens and expect this girl to maiden probably in the spring okay this is demon driver i am out of here god bless and thank you bye bye